Hello there, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Path of Petalburg with me, Norman. You see here that I'm using my team of Bisharp, Talon, Flame, Gengar, and Thunderous Incarnate form against my opponent Argus with a Cradley, a Camerupt, a Togekiss, and a Reuniclus. So this obviously screams Trick Room, but with the redirection there, I'm more focused on getting rid of the Togekiss before that, so let's see what happens in this battle. So, I predicted they would have this lead of Togekiss and Reuniclus, and I, in turn, led with a Bisharp and a Talonflame. Pretty good for getting high offense on the field right, right off the bat, and I, f I figured they would just follow me, so I used Overheat this first turn. Don't want to go with too much recoil on the first turn, and just about a quarter damage there. And I followed that with an Iron Head. I figured this would do the job, but it hangs on with probably one or two hit points there. And it eats the Citrus Berry. So I figured tri Trick Room would come up this first turn, but instead they go for the Focus Blast. Not only using that move, but hitting it with on Bisharp. But this is, this is why I had the Focus Sash, so I can have one more turn of attacking. And so this comes out again with uh, Follow Me. And I don't want to risk the miss from an overheat, so I Brave Bird the Toga Kiss, doing a very sizable amount of damage and knocking it out. Just taking a bit of recoil from the Brave Bird and Life Orb, and I'm going to knock off here. Gonna do a ton of damage to this Reniclus, in fact it's gonna knock it out with one shot. And I found out that it was Life Orb. Makes sense because it has a Magic Coat. Removes the uh, damage from Life Orb. And Cradley and Camera up here come out. So. As far as uh, priorities go, I want to make sure that I scout out any protects that are coming from my Pokemon on the other side of the field. So I just double protect this turn. Has the advantage of not taking any damage, and if the other, the other Pokemon use Protect on the field, I'll be able to outlast that. So. Cradley uses Agent Power, and Heat Wave comes out from Camerupt. Pretty good moves from both. So, my first priority here is get rid of this Cradley, because Camerupt I can deal with with my Pokemon in the back. Cradley can be really annoying. And so Iron Head should, will definitely take out the Cradley after that Brave Bird. So now my opponent is left with one Pokemon. And, oh, uh, Bisharp avoids this heat wave, actually, so it's going to stay around for one more turn. Quite the lucky happenstance there, but Talonflame does faint, so now it's down to 3-1. And, and Thunderous here is going to bring in some decent decent offensive pressure against it. Uh, hit Second Punch here does about 40% damage. Hidden Power just gets some chip damage on the camera, I'm set up for my Gengar in the back. And <laughs> twice in a row, uh, Bisharp avoids the heat wave. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I feel like I should rename that MC Hammer. And my Citrus Berry comes out from the uh, thunders. And Sucker Punch here will knock out the camera. Uh, so Bisharp really proven that it is the uh, MVP in that battle, uh, unable to be hit by anything but say Focus Blast. So it was a pretty fun battle there. I thought Trick Room would come out for sure that first turn, but in any case, that was just my, a bad play on my opponent's end. They probably would have done better with the Trick Room up. In any case, I did like the uh, battle as a whole. It was fun to do. Uh, my team did pretty well. I got good leads on the, my opponents, and I chose good moves throughout the battle. Also, the fact that my uh, MC Hammer Bisharp can't be touched by uh, Heat Wave is pretty fun. So, in any case, if you like this video, give this a like down below. Subscribe to our channel for future updates if you're into that kind of stuff, and check out our Facebook page while you're at it, Competitive Pokemon Battle Network, link in the description below. Thank you all for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time.